Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how we can track event data and send that to the email marketing automation software Drip with the help of Google Tag Manager. And as always these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com and if you're new to Google Tag Manager head over to gtmtraining.com slash email course where you get a free five-day email course to help you to discover what Google Tag Manager is all about. So sign up for free at gtmtraining.com slash email course. So today we want to talk about how to install the email marketing automation tool drip onto our little demo shop here. And that way we will be able to subscribe new users to our newsletter, like just like this one here. But the cool thing about marketing automation is actually to also have event driven emails. So I'll show you how to send over events such as if somebody clicks on this add to cart button over to the tool drip and with drip you can then send off an email to the user who just clicked on this add to cart button for example. But obviously it could be a variety of different events. We'll just go with one example here. Now the cool thing about Drip is actually that it has a JavaScript API. And with this JavaScript API, we can send in our events with the help of Google Tag Manager, which makes things more easy here. First thing that we need to do in order to get our users to actually subscribe to our newsletter is to place a general JavaScript onto our page. So let's copy this here and go over to Google Tag Manager, add a new tag name this appropriately and we'll go as a product with the custom HTML tag because there's no tag template for drip at the moment and we'll paste here in the HTML field our copied script. Now all we need to do is click here on continue and as the firing trigger we'll choose all pages. We'll create this tag and go into the preview and debug mode. Now once we're on our page and reload our page, let's go to the home page. We see the Google Tag Manager debug console pop up and our general drip code has fired. Now, depending how you set up your forums in Drip, you will get a little pop-up in the bottom right corner. I have made up a form here to subscribe to the newsletter. And just go ahead and subscribe here. And sign up. Now I should get a double opt-in email we got right here and we'll just confirm our subscription. And that way we are now subscribed to the newsletter. So you need to be subscribed or identified before you can attempt to send in any further events into Drip. Just be aware of that. Now how would we go about sending actually events into Drip and registering, for example, this add to cart click on a product page. First things first, we need to register this click within Google Tag Manager and then forward the right information on to Drip. Our first step in Google Tag Manager to actually register this click is to deploy a click trigger. So let's go over to Google Tag Manager and click on triggers and click on new here. And for now we'll just call this generic click trigger. We'll go with the event click and we want to deploy this click trigger on all elements, not just links. Let's continue here. And then we can filter down on which clicks should actually trigger our drip event We'll go with all clicks for now, but we will change this up once we are sure about the values that we need to fill in 
to these fields. Let's go with all clicks and create this trigger. Refresh our preview and debug mode and go over to our page, reload our page. And I'm going to click on this add to cart button with the command key pressed or the control key pressed so it actually opens up in a new tab. And that way our GTM debug console stays open and we can see here the click number four was our add to cart click. So once we click on this, we can inspect our variables. We have different variables in here. Unfortunately, I forgot to activate our click variables. So let's go over to Google Tag Manager under variables. And we have here our click variables, which we need to activate first. So I'll just go with everything. Refresh our preview and debug mode. Let's close this window and reload our window and then click again on the add to cart button with the command key pressed. Go back and we have here a new event. All right, nothing is happening on this event just now, but we can inspect the variables. And now we have all the click variables in here and see how they are filled. And this can actually be used to filter down our trigger to only turn true when somebody clicks an add to cart click. So for example, here we have the click text add to cart, which is pretty unique. So if I click, for example, on this thing right here, which is not even a link, it will change the click text. And therefore I can use the click text as a unique identifier for this click on this add to cart button. Great. So let's go over to Google Tag Manager and go back into our generic click trigger and refine that a bit. This will be now our add to cart click. And on the fire on options, we can go with some clicks and then choose our click text equals add to cart. Let's save this trigger. And since this is done, let's go ahead and send this data over to drip. In the JavaScript API, we have different kind of methods to send in data. There is also one method called the track method where we can send in event and conversion data. We'll go with this little example request here. Let's copy that, go over to Google Tag Manager and open up a new tag. This tag will be a drip event tag to fire on the add to cart button. We'll go again with the custom HTML tag and then we can paste our copied JavaScript. And since this is JavaScript, it needs to be surrounded by script tags. All right, now we can modify our request here. We want to send over a track event and this event should be named add to cart click. And then we can send in values. So for now, I want to just send in the attribute URL and that should be dynamically filled by a variable which we can define and this variable, which is available on the actual click. Um, we can choose between those variables. I'll just go with the page URL here. All right, the next step, we just need to choose our trigger. We have already prepared that. That's our add to cart click. Let's save that, create our tag and preview and debug this again. Let's go back, reload our page here. And again, I'm gonna click the add to cart button with the command key pressed. Now, as we clicked it, this didn't do anything for us. Uh, it didn't 
uh, fire our tag as expected. So let's go back and look into our add to cart click. Why didn't this turn true? We have here the firing triggers and the click text didn't equal add to cart. Now, what is the actual value of the value of the click text? Let's go over to variables and see click text. Ah, we had a capital C here, which should be lowercase. So let's change it up really quickly. Let's go into our trigger and change that here. Let's save this trigger, refresh, refresh our page and click on the add to cart again. Hopefully this time, yes, it fired our drip event tag correctly into drip. So let's control this. Let's go over to drip and actually look into our subscriber base. We have here the demo guy and here we can see a history. And just now there was an add to cart click registered with the optional attribute URL. And all these attributes can actually be used also in the emails that you send out, which is quite handy if you later want to send out, for example, an email and say, hey, you added these products to your cart, um, but haven't bought later on. Here's a link back to the product. Let's try this out if this is really dynamic. Let's go back to our page and go to another product here. Let's click on add to cart. Great and go back to drip, reload our demo account. And we had another add to cart click three times already. And the last time was on the URL. Oh, we can't really read that. Let's copy that and just put this into this field here. Patient Ninja, which was just our patient ninja. So that works correctly. And we can now go ahead publish this to all our users. So they get this little email pop up from drip, but also um, are tracked once they click on the add to cart button. And that's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel or give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to Google Tag Manager, check out our free email course at gtmtraining.com slash email course. I'm Julian, till next time.